I 10 actually flew over downtown St. Pete this morning as crews continue to pick up all that dead fish that's floating in the water. They have so far scooped up 902 tons, 902 tons of dead marine life. Our Liz Crawford has been along North Shore and Vinoy Park all week long for us in St. Pete. Right now she's at the St. Pete Pier. Liz, that's a popular weekend spot. What's it looking and smelling like for folks that want to spend some time out there? Well, a little bit of good news. I'll tell you what, Ryan, being out here right now, it's not so bad. I don't smell a thing. I saw things way worse earlier this week and in other parts of the city. Even this morning it was worse, but the crews were cleaning up all day in the area around the pier. So that's the good news. Let me explain exactly where I am. Yes, it's the pier, but this is actually the marketplace at the pier. So these are vendors. They sell all different kinds of items under these tented kiosks. Now they're only here Friday through Sunday. One seller told me Fridays are the slow day. But today has been exceptionally quiet, so we're starting to see that economic impact. Now, an important reminder, it came from a scientist that I talked to earlier this week. While red tide is bad in Tampa Bay, it's not everywhere. Red tide is patchy, so before you cancel plans here to the pier or maybe the beach, just go ahead and maybe check it out or check the maps. Dr. Krimsky said red tide changes by the hour, so the business owners here are hopeful people will still come out. You know, Friday's usually a slower day, but, you know, we have more tourists. People from all over, and they're walking down to the pier or to the beach, and no one's coming dressed to go to the beach. Now, some people are demanding that more action be done to deal with the red tide situation in the city of St. Petersburg. Some activists and local business leaders are actually meeting here at the pier tomorrow morning. They're going to march about a mile down to North Shore Park at the volleyball courts, again, asking for more resources and help cleaning up the red tide.